Shalom, 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 giving our praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahusha Bahashim, Harakakodash, double honors to all the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Father, we have to pass the day with the salute to all the hundred and four for five and elect men. Coming back at you, man, on a walk and talk, a little hill and golly, a little quick trek up some hills and gullies. Just gonna um, hit, some, hit some points some spiritual thoughts out here man <sighs> let the breeze blow let the spirit flow yes yeah, so i was just meditating on how the most side restoring restoring these elect men man abra you want to be there the elect house of david the restoration of the house of david is um is that it's um is that it's um is that it's um beginning is that it's beginning the building the building of the house of david so um yeah it's a, it's a, it's a good time the time of revealing the time of the wicked being laid bare made bare being exposed for who they really are and the time of yashua allah the prince of the power being rebuilt and um that reminder of who we were and who we are and who we're going to be potentially and the rest restoration of the house the kingdom that is about to come so we are just on the way here which, which we're going to see more of it I see I, I see someone lick, lick down look like it got licked down by a car by the looks of it um, flat out on the floor it's, it's almost like every time I'm walking through town there's something else some form of judgment so this is the this is um this is the time of judgment as we see when we just look at the news and observe our surroundings this is the decline the decline of the the enemy and it's going to speed up momentum and we're at his hills um esau is the beginning of the world jacob is um Esau is, is the end of the world, Jacob is the beginning after that followeth. Yeah, let me catch here in the, in the shade. Just taking some of the, um, let me slide down, taking some of the birds, they might chime in and, you know. I don't want to keep this. <laughs> Let me find a little um, ting ting. Let me let me wipe let me wipe it down. Yeah, so um, that time is that time is here. The time of the, re the revealing. We're in the time of the revealing of the enemies, man. So yeah, I'm gonna hit some precepts. Let me dash this over there. <laughs> I'll come back for it. There was a time, and all I kept doing was finding things. Just kept finding things. I was talking about that on Saturday, just kept finding things. So sometimes you think you're making sacrifices. <laughs> uh, the Moza has ways, he has ways of paying you back. Come to this truth, don't don't hesitate to do to make your um to make your stand, man. Make your stand for righteousness. Don't hesitate to do it. And that's all the elect, 144,000. Yeah, and the Afwakim and the Wafbanyam. Don't hesitate to make a stand for the truth. Most of us says that all your works that you put in your labor won't it's not gonna be in vain. And I just um you know <laughs> just just um anyway so let me hit some precepts. Just meditating how and how the, the even now how the most high restoring his the house of David just look around and look and even the brothers too you know, you can see it in the brothers. Yeah, let's hit this one. Psalms 82. Psalms 82 and 6 says, I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. You are gods, we are gods. You know, just looking to the brothers, look at the, the qualities of the brothers. You know, in your camp and around the world, you can see, you can see the godlike potential. Yashua Allah is being restored. Yeah, that godlike sons of gods yeah, that's that's what it means uh prince of the power sons of gods 
yeah, potentially, you know, all the elect Abaratas are, we all want to be included in that. And you just observe the brothers, the brotherhood um, in your surrounding areas and all around the world. You can see that godlike, the godlike qualities being restored. And I was just reflecting on some of those um, movies, Superman, one of the Supermans, it might have been Superman 2, when they, um, he had those um, rebellious Kryptonians that lived in, uh, in the, um, the, on the planet Krypton and Superman was, was, the, was the man, it was the Superman that came to Earth and displayed these Superman qualities, Superman-like qualities. Um, his name, um, Karl, 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 Karl Hal, oh, the name's, the, this, the name mistake me, Carlisle, Carlisle, um, something, something to that effect, Carlisle, um, all powerful, if I'm, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, Carlisle, all powerful, something to that effect, uh, uh, it's been on my mind to go in some of these, go into some of these, um, um, former, some of these superhero movies and some of the qualities that when you when you relate them back you can see how they got it from King David and how he was ruling which leads me into um, another precept so I have said we are gods and all of you are the children of the Most High we are the children of the Most High the God, Yahshua Allah, the Prince of the Power yeah Carlisle, all powerful yeah, we're on the earth <laughs> and I say it humbly yeah, when the Most High brings us, restores us back, that um, that unity, we see the unity in our camp being formed, and around the world, that unity being formed, and uh, the enemy is um, is shook. You know, there's all the precepts to back that up. The enemy is shook. Revelation 11, 11, Ezekiel 37, um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapters five, how the, the enemies are shook are standing boldly against our enemies so we're just at the beginning stages and it's um it's a marvel the movie marvel uh, superman and the, the the marvel superheroes marvel and it's a marvel it's a marvel to um to see to see at that beginning stage of the house of david being restored and let's hit that precept it's going to be a quick one up here I was just meditating on how we see the unity in the brotherhood, man. And it's a reflection of how the Most High promised what he would do. Amos chapters 9 and 11 says, In that day will I rise up the tabernacle of David that is in, that is fallen, fallen, and close up the breaches thereof. Right, yeah, the breaches, the, the diaspora, the separation that happened um, with the diaspora, uh, when was it, I think I've got it somewhere, just to remind myself, let me check out the diaspora, was around familiar, familiarizing myself with our history, 59587 stroke 6 BCE the history of the diaspora right when Nebuchadnezzar took all the inhabitants of Jerusalem unto captivity right when permitted to be um, when permitted to return by Cyrus the Persian king many remained voluntarily in Babylon right but you had um, a lot yeah that left but the diaspora was um, the separation which goes into that in what would happen to the people in Moses' time when he was speaking, the separation, the curses, Deuteronomy 28, goes into that, the diaspora, the disperse of the people, the house of David included. So that's the breaches. The breaches are coming together, that separation, that unity, we can see it happening right before our very eyes, which is a very, very, um, we're prisoners of hope. And that, prophecies being unfolded and being revealed coming to pass <laughs> is um what's this 
Dog, they must come up. Yeah, they must see something, innit? So, um, that fallen, uh, the breaches that has fallen and close up the breaches thereof, and I will rise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old. That's those breaches being restored, separation being restored. This dog, this dog has a fascination. You have a fascination? The noisy dog there. This, this dog got a fascination. I wonder what's going on over here. Yeah, this is um, the way I used to do my thing, man. I used to fly my kites. Right now, I'm flying my spiritual kite, putting up my spiritual kite up into the clouds. And everywhere, and I'm going to say this too, everywhere I go, <laughs> everywhere I go, I'll say this humbly. People, do, you know, my most probably because it's demons. People want to flock to me. Everywhere I go, I've known it in the spirit. So um, they want to they want to get selfies, <laughs> and they want their dogs to come over to to me so that they could be nosy. The dogs are nosy. They've got the spirit of the they've got the spirits of their um their owners on them. Want to know what's going on? But yeah, so that's um that's part of the prophecy too. Um, I'm going to give you praise and fame in the land where your enemies have put you to shame. And the birds are chiming in on on, on that. Yeah, and the gal them, the gal them, you know, the gal them I want to flock to me too. <laughs> uh, but that time going to come, man. The, the gal are flocking to us now already, even in our low state. You know, as rough as we, as, as rough as we are, as raw and uncut as we are, some of us are so austere, they're still, they're still flocking to us. Tell them for, Oh, tell them to f off. They want you even more. But um, yeah, them the Amos nine. I read it again. Eleven says, "In that day, I will rise up." It's just, uh, it's just truth, man. I'm just speaking truth. What it is, brothers can, uh, most of us brothers, so-called black brothers, can testify to how the gal them, even now in a low state, flocking to us. You know, where where the people of the earth, where the people renowned, where the renowned, where the gods, even in a low in our low state. And we come in all different shapes and sizes. It doesn't matter. They're not really they're they're not really that fussy. <laughs> uh, they're not really that fussy. The heathen women are not really that fussy. But um yeah, in that day will I rise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof and I will Raise up his ruins. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a walk over there. He's like every, everywhere I go, I want a bit of space to breathe. These people want to gather around me, man. I come over here for space. There was no one here. There was no one around. Uh, there was no one around. You know, I come over here to get away from the concrete jungle. There was no one around. And then next, next thing you know, the whole people, whole set of people, come crowded. I've noticed this. Sometimes you look in the in a shop. There's no one in the shop. You say, "Let me get in there, get quickly, and get served." And um, you go in there, and the next thing you know, there's a whole flock of crowd all around. You know, it's, it's a flock of demons at the end of the day. We know. In that day, I will rise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof, and I will rise up his ruins and will build it as in the days of old. Yeah, and that's the, the house of David's. And they ruled, and that was all the all the different tribes that came together. You can read about that in Chronicles chapters 12, First Chronicles chapters 12. All the mighty men, man of valor, that was um, part of the house of David. All the tribes, the Gadites, the Rubenites, the Benjamites, the Judites. They said, "We want to work with you. We want to deal with you. We want to build with you." And um, that's happening again. The separation is coming back. It's flocking back together and it's just happening just organically as the most I promised in an organic natural way here's another one Isaiah 1 and 10 says yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea which cannot be measured nor numbered and it shall come to pass that 
in the place where it was said unto them, You are not my people, right? Babylon, the land of confusion over here, the mother of Babylon, where all the byways they put upon us, and we know about all the history, the um the um the book goes into it. Um is that book again? Without sanctuary goes into goes into detail, and I'm going to choose my words because these damn people, people don't you know we're, we're going to have to put out the fire. We're going to have to put the fire out there. The truth will cannot. There's nothing you can do against this truth. Only only for the truth. You got all kinds of YouTube channels, all kind of um, um whistleblowers coming out, exposing the enemy. What you've been doing, what you've been doing in the past, the potential. The MLTB, what you got lined up, um, and the C hip again, and he he ain't gonna stand for it. He ain't gonna stand for the third one coming around. They're gonna be rebellious uprisings around, and we see uprisings already, right? All around the globe, the uprisings, the rebellions of the wicked, the Egyptians, right? Which the modern day Egyptians are the Americans today, the US, the Egyptians going against Egyptians, Isaiah 19 and 19. I know I'm just hitting hitting points, right? This is a, one of those videos where I'm just hitting random random points and thoughts, you know, spitting them out there, breathing out this truth, this fire upon the enemy, putting the energy out there of prophecy, history, past, present, and future. History, present, and future. Some current events, like I say, uh, any time I take a little walk, it's like something, some kind of drama take place. One of the enemy, the hear them get licked down, out on the floor, unconscious. So judgment is in the earth. The Most High's word is in the earth. The revealing is in the earth. The expose, the expose, is here. Uh, I was thinking of you know, having a channel called the expose. We, we are them, the prophets, bringing out this truth, spitting that truth of fire. So that breach is being built up, the house of David, man, where, where they said we're going to be wiped out, you know, when they do, what do they do to a, when they try and wipe out a, na a nation, what do they do? The, um, the, um, what's that word, man? They try to do it with us. I would rather that word, you know, the word, when you try and wipe out a nation. Um, there's, a, there's a proper word, but they try to do that with us. We ain't supposed to be here, right? But it's of the Lord's mercies that we are here. The mercies of the Lord. Um, what's the, the precept? We went into it a little bit on um, Saturday. Um, lamentations. It's of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. So, he, yeah. That is the mercies of the Lord. We're seeing it right before our eyes. The unity, the brotherhood. The building of the house of David in the spirit. This is a spiritual temple taking place. Building being built right before our very eyes. Yeah. Romans chapters 9 and 26 says, And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living God. Once again, that's the place where they said we were going to be the N-word. Right? All the bywords you can think of. You know, they, they, those, they used to put us on jam jars. I, mean, I remember them days when they had us on jam jars with, with the woolly hair, like, like I got now. But they didn't know when you mock the children of Yahshua Allah, you're mocking their father, their God. Because we look like him, yeah? And that's, that's in Revelation chapters 1 from 13 onwards, yeah? Um, skin like burnt brass, dark brown skin, hair, woolly, woolly hair, yeah? White, woolly hair. And the wool and the white, grey or white, represents the wisdom. And the woolly hair represents the sheep like, we're the sheep people, the sheep like people. He's going to shep and he's going to separate the sheep from the wolves. So we're the sheep on the earth, yeah? The people that you want to try and stigmatize and um, put stereotypes on and make out you're the good guys and we're the bad guys. We're the good people, we're the sons of, the, of God, the living sons of God. But we're suffering, we're dying like men as it is mentioned in um, Psalms, we are dying like men, but we're going to be restored again. So that's really the point I wanted to hit. How we are gods, we're dying like men, but the Most High is bringing back the breaches, 
bringing back the house of David, rebuilding the tents of the house of David, making us back into God, building us back up brick by brick by brick, tribe by tribe, brother by brother. Oh, and I mentioned um, Superman, Carlisle, all powerful, and his minions, he came to earth and he was, he was acting as um, the good Samaritan, saving the people of the earth, which, we, which really he wasn't the good guy. But then he had um, his, um, his, um, his, you can call them, people that came from Krypton as well, the bad guys from Krypton, General Zard and the two, and the man, the big dumb one and the, and the woman. When they, they was coming to earth, closer and closer to earth, and they was landing, they landed near to a pond, and I said, something is happening. The closer we get to this planet called Earth, something is happening. We are getting stronger, you know? And um, they, they, it seems very, very similar, the parallel of Yashua being restored, coming back to our minds, being restored of the, um, the trauma, being healed from the trauma, the, um, the, the memory loss, the amnesia that you suffer when you have trauma, that you could suffer from a thing called amnesia after a real shock trauma. The, the things that we've been through, we've been suffering trauma. That's why you're up to this day, people walking around who don't know who they are. So-called black people walking around and you try and shake them out of it and tell them they, who they are. You break it down to them. They, you break it down to them, A, A, B and C <laughs> and they still can't get it because they're suffering from trauma not to mention all the other things that you can get from um, amnesia they're suffering from amnesia not to mention all the other things that you can suffer from having trauma going through a traumatic event so that's what you see in Jake's a lot of them walking up and down bugged out plus they're on a lot of these class A, class B you know forms of drugs like the enemy which they they gave it to us from time. That's why you got a lot of Benjamites thinking that you got you must you know it's a trend to be smoking weed, which they lace up lace up all the weed too with all kinds of stuff, fentanyl and all kinds of stuff to make them crazy. So that's why you got Holy Per Judah Benjamin and Levi out of their mind, you know. And it's a trauma. It's the it's the effect of trauma. Trauma makes people go to Esau and try and then they give them all kinds of things put even more demons on them so it's a vicious circle but the most is sealing up the breaches restoring us from that trauma for the ones that he wants to restore the elect his elect the hundred foot four thousand the afwakim and the waf banim the the great crowd he's healing up healing us from the trauma the effects of the trauma and restoring us that's the house of david romans 9 and 26 again and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall be, there shall they be called the children of the living God. That's why you see in camps developing. Not just over there in America, over there in Babylon, but over here in England too. And a lot of European countries, so-called Af African countries, Australia, there's so many to mention. That's the house of David being restored again and being built back up again. You see, that's why you see in these camps and brothers in unity and how good it is to dwell together with brother, brothers in unity. King David said that. And he was, um, again, he was the, the house of David, the leader of the house of David. And he's going to come back too. Right? And he's going to set things straight on the earth, man. Yeah? Along with Yehoshai. And that's going to be the grand finale. Yehoshai, which you Christian call him Jesus. So... There's more precepts I could have brought out, but I think the point is already made. The house of David is being restored. We can see it right before our very eyes. So, Kwam Yashua Allah. Kwam Yashua Allah. And more Kwam Yashua Allah. The house of David is being restored. Let me hit this one. Zechariah chapter 12 and 8 says, In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble, yeah, even the feeble among us, the sick, that's the sick, sick among us. Like I mentioned, the trauma, but there's a whole heap of other illnesses in Israel. The effects of being under the curses, mentally, spiritually, and physically, physically sick. So, he's going to restore even the weak. Yeah, in Jerusalem and in that day, 
Uh, the low defending habits of Jews. Let me start with, let me read from the top. Zechariah 12 on 8. Let me take my time. <sighs> and let this one marinate. In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as God, as the angel of the Lord before them. So, yeah, David is going to return, going to defend us, man, in the spirit and literally in the flesh. That's, and that's the house of David being restored now. Again, all the things that we're being restored from, he's going to protect us, protecting us from, first and foremost, knowing the name. Yahweh, yeah. Yahweh means he is, he is to be. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the what you Christians call him God. He is he is to be. Yahweh Shai means he saves, he delivers. You Christians call him Jesus. So we know the names now. And that's a healing in itself. He's going to return. Yahweh Shai going to return with healing in his wings. Knowing the name is healing in itself. Because when we pray, we use that name. Back in the day, we used to use all these other kind of names so many different type of names but the most i was patient with us until now we have that that name and we're using that name and we call upon that name for protection and when we're going to take our enemies down we're going to be using that name too so we you we're, we're in presence and we're in um we're in the time of re uh, being restored from all the different traumas and illnesses being built back up Again, the most hard restoring the old breaches. So yeah, man. That is fee feeble. He that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as God, as the angel of the Lord before them. Yeah, man. It's precepts, more precepts to get into. Uh, we're going to chase a thousand, man. You know? And that's the spiritual power. Something is definitely happening, even now. Apostle Paul went into it a little bit. Even though you have your little ailments, your illnesses, your little niggles, your thorns in the flesh, you're weak, and that's all, uh, that's all part of the, the refining. You're weak, but Apostle Paul said, when he is weak, then he is made strong. It's the strength of the Lord where I was able to get out here and um, do this video, throw up my spiritual kite up there in the clouds, my video. Which, which I call my spiritual kite because <laughs> I used to be over here flying my kites now I'm flying my spiritual kite, kite. and it's not just a hobby it's a spiritual work uh, to build up Abaratazar to edify the church back in the day it was a, it was a hobby Fr flying kites was a hobby but it was more than a hobby it was a, it was a form of exercise staying healthy and fit and mentally active but now this work what we're doing now, frying up these spiritual kites, is a, is, a, is, a, is a work, a good work to keep you healthy. It just happens organically and mentally alert and sharp, mentally sharp, physically sharp and spiritually sharp. So, the Wara Yehoah, the Wara Yehoah Shai, with a privilege to be able to serve you in sincerity and in truth. In the land of where the enemy said, we are not going to be the children of Yahshua Allah, there it shall be said, there it shall be said, you are gods serving the in the land of the living God. There it shall be said. And over here in the UK in Babylon, where I am now, <laughs> we're gonna be we're gonna be bad down too soon. Like I say, people doing fooling over themselves even now to get selfies of of me. And there's there's an there's an event that took place. Get them can't stop look pan we already. <laughs> oh boy. And I ain't just talking to myself. This is this is a global thing. You know, we're gonna have to beat them off soon. It was it Isaiah chapters four? We're gonna have to beat them off. And we know this, man. We know this in the spirit. We know this in the spirit. And some of some of us are doing it already. Fighting them off already, man. Yeah. So Joshua twenty three and ten <laughs> and ten says. Oh boy. For the Lord have driven out from before you great nations and strong, but as for you, no man that have been able to, there has been no man, as for you, no man hath been able to stand before you until this day. This happened, our forefather Joshua. This happened. It's going to happen again. Because one man of you shall chase a thousand and uh, a thousand. For the Lord your God is he that is that 
is he it is that fighteth for you as hath promised you as he hath promised you we've got to keep an eye on these damn dogs some of them get overzealous man some of them get overzealous keep your eye on them so keep your eye on the enemy look it's funny look, is, that, is that one of those um dogs um those those bully XL dogs we me not free a dog in here Back off! Oh, back off! Back off! Call your dog, mate! You see that? Little bit of drama there. Back off, dog! See what the dog cover? So you deal with dog. A lot, a lot of these dogs are going to be deleted anyway. That's why they're deleting a lot of these dogs. What's that? What, 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 what dog is that, mate? Mate! What dog is that? A what? No, oh, just about heard him. I don't think he, I don't think he's too happy. But we're not free of dog. We're gonna be deleting these dogs soon. Looks like one of those um pit bulls, pit bulls to me. So yeah, <laughs> talking about one man checking the fact we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna be anyway. Let me just read this. One. Uh, one man, Joshua chapter 23 and 1 says, Joshua 20, chapter 23 and verse 10 says, One man of you shall chase a thousand. The demon must have jumped on that dog to try and um, get me out of the spirit. For the Lord your God is he that, that is that fighteth for you, as he hath promised you. So one man shall chase a thousand. One man shall tell a dog to buck off. And the dog gets shook. <laughs> yeah. Take good heed therefore unto yourselves that you that ye love the Lord your God. Little fucking coward dog then. Soon we're gonna be deleting them and their dogs. We're not free of dog. Leviticus chapter 26. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna hit, hit some more of these precepts and then we'll end it off. And Uh, seven says, and ye shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before you by the sword. Ah, <sighs> let that one marinate. See, that time is here. The time of revealing is here, man. Yeah, this is that time. And yeah, he, we are the gods in the earth, right? Despite the circumstances and the place where we are, we are the gods in the earth, being built back up. The breaches of the of the house of David being built back up. And I was talking about Apostle Paul. He had that thorn in the flesh, but when he was, he felt weak, and that was all for a reason, to make him rely more on the Most High. The thorn in the flesh was given to him to keep buffing him. Apostle Paul, that thorn in the flesh was given to him to keep buffing him. It was like him receiving blows. And if you've ever been to a gym, a boxing gym, that's what they do. They do that. They might throw the medicine ball at you. They might put you in the ring and give you a sparring partner. They may tell you to hit a bag, a heavy bag, or they may take, just keep throwing the medicine ball in your chest, in your, in your six pack to toughen you up, or get uh, someone bigger than you, stronger than you to, you know, give you some work in the ring. <laughs> so that's why he was receiving those, um, those buffeting, puzzle pulls, and we're receiving them now. But despite that, it's all to make us refine us, to make us stronger, for when we are weak, then we are strong. It's all of the power and the spirit of the Lord. Why we're able to continue in this work. And we give him glory for that. All praise it to you, Yahweh Shem Yoshai. Yeah, and, and, and so ye shall chase your enemies and they shall fall before you by the sword. And five of you shall chase an hundred and a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight. And they're little stupid little dogs. Yeah? And your enemies shall fall by before you by the sword. For I will have respect unto you and make you fruitful and multiply you and establish my covenant with you. So all this is what he's going to do. See, for his name to be made powerful around the earth, to be known about the earth. He did the same in Egypt. He brought up Pharaoh just to bring him down to show his name, the power in his name. And how he can use a little, what seemed to be feeble people like Moses and all the other Israelites to to um, show his power for through him we are made strong 
Yeah, through the Most High, we are made strong. Through His, through His stripes, we are made strong. We are, we live and we exist and we breathe through His name, through His stripes, and what He suffered from. Yahusha, what He suffered from. We are strong, man. Yeah, and if God is for us, who can be against us? No little, no little, little pinion, little minion, pinion, weak, feeble enemy can do anything against us if God is for us. Right? So, I've started. As a matter of fact, we've got another one. Deuteronomy 38, 32, and 30 says, How should one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight except their rock had sold them and the Lord had shut them up? How could it happen unless the Most High be with them? Yeah, how should one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight, right? 10,000 ain't no little number, man. But two man gonna make 10,000 to put to flight. One shall chase a thousand. Woo! And what we're doing now, in our low state, you know, that's the, that's all of the Lord anyway. But what we're doing now in a low state, we're gonna be doing that whoo, off the chart in, on steroids. So that's all I want to bring out, man. Right now, meditating and reflecting that God-like, we are gods, man. And the, the breaches are being brought back. The house of David is being built back up again. Yeah? So, Psalms 82 and 1 says, I have said ye are gods and all of you are the children of the Most High. We are gods. Yeah? The gods are back in the earth. All praise to and the water to your worship and shall I put the spirit upon me to do this video. The gods of the earth are back in the earth to do the Lord's will. Until the next one, we out. There's nothing you can do against his truth, only for the truth. The gods of the earth are back in the earth. The power and spirit of Yahweh Shimon Shai. Until the next one, we out.